Hi everybody, so in this video I wanted to do a review of Google Stadia. A bit of an introduction as well so you kind of know what this streaming service from Google is all about. Um, basically it enables you to be able to play high-end PC games on your old laptop or your old computer or even a mobile phone if you've got a compatible mobile phone um, or, or your TV as well you, you can do all, all these things and the way it does this is that it's a game streaming service like GeForce Now um, like PS PlayStation Now uh, there's a Xbox one coming as well isn't there so the game in effect is not being played on your laptop or your TV Chromecast it's being played on a remote server in somewhere in Google and then it's streamed over the uh, internet and then, then you can play with a controller or keyboard and mouse or, or whatever you like like that um, the headline is technically Stadia is incredibly impressive and very very smooth even on my old laptop on a Wi-Fi connection the question marks over Stadia are the the availability of games on it you know the choice of games that you have um, and the, and the price of those games and then also the most important one for me is whether you trust Google to keep Stadia going so what I'm gonna do is the technical side of it where actually I'll, I'll jump into I don't know zombie army I'll, I'm gonna do it at the end of the video because I'm just capturing this using this video using OBS and there's a chance that you won't really see what's going on so you'll just have to kind of trust me when I say that it plays very smoothly it looks very good um, and it is probably superior to GeForce now and um, I think what they've done with Stadia is they've each title like Destiny or Zombie Army or PUBG has really been um, has been uh, uh, tailored to work very well with Stadia and obviously Google have the best internet backbone in terms of servers and stuff out there maybe Amazon with their service maybe maybe up there too but, you know they have server farms all over the place so your, your ping is very low your latency is very low everything seems really good and I was incredibly impressed with the technical side of it so let's go on to the choice of games then so and, and how much it costs so with, with stadia you can as i say you can play it on your laptop you can play it on a compatible mobile phone only a few or you can um buy stadia premier edition so St Stadia premier edition which is 120 quid which is pretty expensive consists of a google chromecast ultra that will plug into your tv and a wireless controller and the idea is then you're playing games a bit like a console the problem is it, it's a pretty similar price to a console you know 120 quid um, you know, you could buy an Xbox One, you know, probably for about 150 quid. You know, an Xbox, you know, or a PlayStation for probably, you know, almost 200 quid. And then on top of that, you then have your monthly subscription. Now, at the moment, you can play um, basically for free for two months. Um, if you just sign up for a Premier uh, account, um, and then you can just cancel it straight away, you get two months worth worth of, of uh, Google Stadia. Which you can then play play on your laptop or your computer or your phone with a mobile controller if you've got one. But laptop and computer is probably the best way, so you can check it out. Um, and then, as part of um, Google uh, of uh, Stadia kind of Pro, um, you get access to games. And so the idea is that every month they're adding more games to the Pro subscription that you then have for free. And it looks like these games will always be available. So you know like with Xbox Gold or PlayStation Plus, if you're subscribed, if you remember to claim those games that month, you get those games. But if, for example, you weren't subscribed for that month or you forgot to claim them, you can't go back and claim old ones. It looks like with Stadia... Uh, pro you can you know you'll you'll be able to claim all the games that were ever in that deal um, for sort of as I say about nine pounds a month and then you also get special deals on existing games so for example Final Fast Fantasy 15 is normally 35 quid it's 17 pounds 50 if you've got a pro um, subscription so it looks to me like they, they're gonna have a free version of this Excuse me. Hopefully they will anyway. Where if you, as long as you've got a Google account, you'll then be able to, you know, you try and play it for free. But you'll have to buy the games, and that that's the catch, you see, because there's not that many games available in the store, um, and you're buying them off Google 
for playing them on Stadia. So the problem is what happens if Stadia turns off? And as far as I can see, there's no money back guarantee. I mean, I could be wrong when you go through the terms and conditions, maybe, maybe there is. But I think what Google should have said fairly upfront is that, look, you're by buying games on this platform, you're investing in the platform, you're investing in its future. But if in the future this platform was we were to turn it off, which Google are very good at doing, you know, they don't think twice about turning things off. Um, uh, I think, is it, um, remember that their reader, they turned off. Um, there's loads of service. Google Plus basically is, is gone. If something's not working, Google will will turn it off. But you will have invested, and if you buy two or three games, or you've been um, a subscribed for a long time, you know you'll have invested a lot of money in this. And then what happens? And what I think they should say says, look, if we turn it off, we're going to give you money back for the games you've you've had. Um, you know, they they should they should be upfront about that, because until they do. I would be very loath to invest in any games um, for Google Stadia. You could argue that the Pro um, pr pr uh, subscription at like nine pounds a month, allowing you to play this, is is pretty cool. But I would probably lean you towards GeForce Now instead, because the beauty with GeForce Now is GeForce Now is just a streaming service. It's not the games. With GeForce Now, you're playing quite a lot lots and lots of steam games so you've got access to your, most of your steam catalog and games from um uh who the people who make assassin's creed and people like that's ubisoft isn't it um and a few epic games as well so if at the end of the day geforce now gets turned off by nvidia and they say look we're not doing it anymore it hasn't been a success terribly sorry you know the service is going to end in three months doesn't matter because you didn't buy any of the games of geforce now you bought the games from Steam, so you can still access them, and there'll be another streaming service. So if you've bought them from Epic, or you've bought bought them from the uh, from the Ubisoft store, um, so so that's the thing. So that's kind of my my conclusion with Google Stadia. Of course, give it a go for free because you can. If you've got a Google account, just go over there, subscribe, and then cancel the subscription straight away in your account settings, and it will give you two months worth of this, and you can try it out, and you you'll be impressed by by how it plays and I would say the one I would say um, is go for um, uh, uh, Zombie Army 4 that looks really good and Destiny 2 they look really really good um, I mean PUBG you know, PUBG is PUBG but it's not the best looking game but the big caveat why I wouldn't recommend you actually invest any money or, or do a Stadia subscription is that question mark over the lack of games the games seem a bit expensive if you don't get that much off um, for, for being a subscriber um, and the fact that who knows when Google might turn it off now when they announce and they've got a free subscription going you know maybe may, maybe that'll be a cool thing but I still think that probably GeForce Now has got the edge because you can just run a HDMI cable from your laptop or your computer to your um, TV and then you can be playing your Steam games and as I say there's no catch with GeForce Now if GeForce Now fails You've still you bought all your games off Steam or Epic or, um, or or Ubisoft that way. So that's kind of my, my conclusion. Give it a go and see what you think. But I wouldn't invest any money in it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to fire up one of these games. It's probably going to look crappy because again I'm recording this on OBS on my computer, um, my laptop, and so I don't think it's really up to uh, re recording uh, this stuff. But we'll go in and I'll show you how easy it is. Basically, you just click on the game. And it comes up like this. You click on play, and then the game files up pretty damn quick. In fact, it, you know it's, it's very similar to on console. And this is all streaming now. So this is all streaming from a Google computer somewhere, probably in Britain, might be in Western Europe, somewhere like that. Now, if this does look crap or it sounds a bit crap, then apologies. Um, it just loads in. If you're seeing any stuttering or um, 
uh, the video's kind of stopping and stuff like that. that that's purely my laptop struggling with OBS to actually record stuff. Oh. The base is still quiet. No response on the radio. I don't like the silence. Better get back. I mean, to, to me, this looks really, really cool. Looks very, very good indeed. Looks better, probably. Than the uh, the console edition. It's running very, very fast. At least 30 frames a second. Um, and in fact, if we go into the settings, you'll see what I mean. So if you go to options, under uh, display, you don't have any options to increase or decrease the graphics like you do in, in GeForce Now. Um, so that makes things simpler and I think that's probably why the game um, runs so well, well, well runs so well and I think technically it's probably better than the way that um, GeForce now works right so there we go I'll uh, I'll leave it there so that's my kind of uh, Google Stadia review. Technically, incredibly impressive. Very, very good indeed. Um, but a big question mark over um, its long-term life uh, its value and its value for money. And I think you're probably still better off with, um, with GeForce Now. Okay, if you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much. And I'll see you again soon. Oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? Something else. Actually, I was very happy with that.